Hi folks, welcome along. It's another Midlife Crisis Guys video. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've just got in my car and it's a bit of a weird one today. I was due to go out on a wild camp today with a friend of mine, but unfortunately he's got work commitments and they've overran and unfortunately couldn't go. Uh, I am driving very locally to where I live. I have Lily with me in the back, so I'm gonna get a move on. I'm just leaving the house now and I will explain more in a minute. So just a quick drive to my destination. A good friend of mine at work, uh, his name is Matt, and he's recently qualified. He's a newly qualified paramedic, so I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish him well in his new career as a, as a para. Well done, Matt. Worked hard for it. Um, but he has very kindly lent me his tent, and I figured it'd be nice to do a bit of a pitching video of this tent. So I sort of said to myself, I need to go somewhere local, a nice flat field somewhere, a local landowner I know who runs a business and it's called Field at Field and it's a small place, tiny little village called Field in Staffordshire and they run a business where it's um, a fully enclosed dog field and I don't know if you can see behind me, I'm just going to move the camera. There's Lily uh, and we've arrived here and I rang this lady up and she's got no bookings this afternoon and she's kindly let me come here to spend the night so I can do a pitching video with this tent. Right then, I haven't actually even said, I'll just put the hat on because it's already a bit of a cool breeze. I think it's going to be quite a nippy night actually. Quite lucky with the weather though because um, it was raining earlier and we've actually got a bit of clear sky. I know rain is forecast for tomorrow so uh, I'll be packing up early anyway. But anyway, here it is. It's the Hubba Bubba NX2. And like I say, big thanks to Matt for lending it to me. So uh, I'm going to have a go at putting this baby up. Um, yeah, spend the night in it, see what it's like, just me and Lily. So uh, let's see how we get on. Bearing in mind this is the first time I've put this up, so you might have to bear with me. Also, I've just remembered, Matt did say to me that this isn't the uh, correct footprint. I don't know how he's managed that, but for whatever reason, it's not actually the designated footprint for this particular tent. Um, but, but it's strange because it says oh, oh, Hubba Bubba NS2 on, on the label, but he did say it wasn't the right one, but there you go. Anyway, what do you want? Are you back again already? Come here. Come here. Come here. old can't throw like I used to I'm quite excited because it does look a really nice tent bearing in mind that I've gone from the Coleman 2 man my trusted Coleman which I've always loved down to the soloist one just to sort of keep an eye on the weight really and I do love that soloist but from what I've seen, again, I'm going back to a two-man here. This is lovely and light, and there's plenty of space in it as well. Um, specifications, obviously, I'm going to put up. But the fact is, there's what appeals to me about this particular one was the space, the space inside. And obviously, it's only kind of like about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm here for a long time. I've got hours and hours. And I fancy I'm going to have another go at a bit of cooking, another stew. Because <laughs> the last one was such a success, so I'm going to do another stew. Um, but it does appeal to me, the extra space and being able to sit upright in the tent as well. That's always a big bonus. So uh, let's crack on. So I'm just securing the end of the poles to these uh, ringlets. And the dog's back again already.
and then it's pretty self-explanatory really all I'm doing now apart from nearly falling backwards is hooking onto these make it nice and rigid ever so easy already I'm noticing how well made this is um, I should hope so for I think they're about 400 quid new so I will do some research just occurred to me I'm quite far from the mic and I'm using again using the shotgun mic on the GoPro Hero 8 so I hope the video it's not too windy at the moment so hopefully it's okay it's actually quite a busy little road this considering it's just like a little B road in the middle of the Staffordshire countryside and it's quite busy but anyway but yeah, and also I'm getting a fantastic uh, feeling of how much space this tent's going to have. Something, as you know, with the soloist, particularly the uh, even my Coleman Two Man, you could never sit up. You can in the soloist. People always ask me that. You can sit up, but it's quite cosy in the soloist. But this thing already, I can see. I'm going to get my 360 camera out in a bit as well and just get a shot, sort of a, have a look round, but. Just the frame itself, ever so easy to put up. I will secure now everything that I've done around the sides before I put on the fly sheet, but already I'm quite impressed. It's getting darker, losing light a bit here, but still got plenty of light around, no drama there. Uh, but the wind's getting up typically as I'm about to put up a fly sheet uh, and I'm not going to lie it's quite a chilly wind <laughs> it's going to be a bit nippy tonight but it's what winter camping is all about so let's do this fly I'm absolutely this is guesswork this is with fluke than judgment I believe but the fly sheet is colour coordinated the ends red onto red and the tabs there grey onto grey that was completely fluke but I've just noticed that so worth, worth pointing out I think I'm getting there it's, is it me is it quite an odd shape <laughs> I just need to do these guy ropes anyway because I always know without doing the guys to pull it fully taut. No, it looks good. Like I said, you can feel it's really, really well made. Um, not that you can't with the soloist. I'm going to still speak up for the Alpkit soloist. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get inside this one. I've just thought I've got a horrible feeling. Apart from the torch on my phone, I don't think I brought my light with me. If I want to do some cooking, that's not very good. That's better. That's lovely and taut, that is. Mind you, in fairness, my wife thinks I'm crackers and I'm sure perhaps a lot of people would. Not everyone's idea of fun, winter camping. I really do love the way it gets so taut. It's like a tin drum. Fantastic. I was a good fielder, me at cricket. Mind you, in fairness, I didn't have one of them to help me. Right, we're getting close. I haven't even been inside this yet. I mean, obviously, we've got an idea what it's like. Uh, but since I put the fly on, I'm not even sure which door to use, really. I think it's bilateral access. Bilateral, both sides. You back already? Oh, this blooming dog. Oh, look, she's got a ball she wants me to throw. That makes a change. In a minute, I'm just going in the tent. Right, go on in. Honest to God, the crackers. Right, here we go. This is.
I'm inside the MSR. I'm back because, um, again, handy being local, I, um, I had to nip home because I forgot my beloved spongy light, which in many, many videos I've always sung its praises. And um, I aim to do a bit of cooking in a bit. Um, so I thought I really do need this. I decided again, when I went back to get my light, perhaps that Lily was gonna prefer her cozy bed at home in the warm and be with Lara as well. So being as this is just a bit of a test, uh, you know, a night out for me on the MSR. Um, and also there is the other thing, just a minor detail that it's quite an expensive tent and it just did concern me a little bit, Lily running around with her claws inside. Um, and yeah, I think all round it was probably best. So I'm missing her. It was a bit quiet coming back, but yeah, Lily is, uh, is, is home. So I'm here on my Jack Jones. So I hope you can even see me. Um, I've tried to adjust some settings on the GoPro for lower light use. Um, I just hope it comes out. We shall see. Now, is it me or does that look delicious? I'm gonna keep myself from having it right now and let it really boil through. Mushrooms, onions, chicken, carrots. Oh, bit of bisto thrown in as well. Oh, can't wait. So, it is that time. I'm really looking forward to this. I've um, made sure the stove is, uh, well actually it ran out of fuel. So it was boiling away. It's well and truly cooked my tea. Um, and the, oops, the fact that it ran out just told me that that's it. It's been boiling for ages and ages, so it's ready. Um, Notice that I did use the fuel burner well out of the tent. I'm just so paranoid that you hear so many stories, no matter how careful you are. I mean, I have used it before just to boil some water, sort of literally holding onto it myself in the morning. I think that was up in Scotland. But when I really wanted that to simmer away for ages and sort of leave it semi unattended really, and there is no way or hell or high that I would do that anywhere near the tent because you just, like I said, hear all sorts of horror stories. Oh, I tell you what, I'm gonna make a chef yet. Yes, even I can put vegetables in boiling water. <laughs> but anyone that saw that film when I um, just post COVID my little day out, that really did inspire me, that did. I really enjoyed that and I thought the next time I go out for a night out, Have a bit more gravy. Oh. Right then, again, without harping on, because I think I've mentioned once or twice that I've had COVID, but the sense of smell is still nowhere to be seen. The taste is not brilliant, but it's there. So uh, here we go. Hot. Mm. 
I mean, in fairness, the potatoes have been boiling for blooming ages, so they are going to be nice and soft and kind of melt in my mouth, along with the succulent gravy and the soft chicken. <laughs> well chaffed, delicious. I won't let you watch me eat because it's never a nice thing, but it's beautiful. Cheers. What? You mean when you go wild camping, you don't take a proper tailor's port glass with you? You mean you don't take port with you? Good gracious me, it's a regular feature in my list of things to bring when I go wild camping. I'll have you know. Gracious me. <laughs> wild camping without port? I say. Steady on. Crikey. <laughs> I say. It is a fine drop, I have to say. Ah, it's truth, mate. Nothing like a bit of port, a little spot of port out in the bush. It's truth. Excuse me, mate. Are there any dannies here? Right. That's two bottles of port I polished off. It's done the job, hasn't it? Well, two minutes is anyway. Flipping lovely, what a lovely drink. God, I could do some more now. Never mind, anyway. Um, this has just been such a nice camp, it really has. I think you can see it's a bit cool. Yes, it's quite cold out there. And I've got to be honest, when I first got here, after I dropped Lily off and came back, I was bloody freezing. <laughs> I really was. So I uh, put on a few extra layers uh, and then cooked the stew, which was superb. So yeah, I froze earlier, put on some extra layers um, and I'm feeling pretty good now. Probably two little miniatures of port help, but that was delicious, yeah. I think I've had enough verbal diarrhea for one night um, and I ought to attempt to get some shut -eye. Something tells me it's gonna be a long night tonight. I'm not sure that I'm gonna sleep that well. I never do, I never do while camping. Um, I don't ever try and pretend that I sort of come out, one of these people shuts my eyes and is out like a light all night long. I wish that did happen. <laughs> it's been a good night. Um, I'm gonna call it a day there and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Morning. So the night was um, as predicted. Um, bit topsy-turvy regarding sleep but um I did get quite a bit actually um so yeah just sort of wait sort of in fits and starts really sleep for a couple of hours and then wake and but anyway yeah I made it through the night um temperature wise yeah it was cold you can still see it's a bit cold out here now but generally I really wasn't too bad early part of the evening it really was cold really was cold but um I've got some um they're like sleeping bags that you actually wear. <laughs> um, courtesy of good old Tony, um, chap I went to Scarfell Pike even, and uh, he let me have these brilliant, I think they're ex-army type of things. There's sort of like a coat and the trousers, but obviously I just kept this coat on and put on these sleeping bag trousers, army issue. And um, combined with the old Terra Hiker down sleeping bag, which good old, lady wife she um i don't know if anyone saw my nantler ridge video but my down sleeping bag actually split which wasn't very clever but they're not the cheapest of things and um she's sewn it up and it's held so thank you dear <laughs> so yeah not a bad night really i'm just about to have a brew 
Um, I have just done the dreaded, much that I was preaching to everyone yesterday, never use your, um, especially any naked flame at all inside the tent. Another car, the M1 starting now, the rush hour. It's about um, it's nearly half past six in the morning. Um, but I have literally just heated up some water um, and I'm just gonna do myself a brew actually. I'm not even sure if you can see that. But under um, strict observations, while I, I literally was just sat here like this watching, doing it very, very carefully. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice brew and then I'm gonna start the clear up. I might not get a chance to speak to the camera again, so um, I'm gonna call it a day there. I'm, I'm amazed, I'm probably gonna be loads of editing here, because I seem to remember rabbiting away loads and loads. Um, so we'll see how the final edit ends. But general consensus is this tent is just to have this much space is an absolute luxury. So to do something like this, to, to drive away for a little camp somewhere, it's absolutely ideal. Um, again, weight wise, I'm not sure. I think it's pretty light, I've gotta be honest. Um, I will know because it's going to be written up when I edit this. Um, but for longer backpacking trips, I don't know. I think I still would consider it. If it's on a par with the Soloist weight-wise. Um, so in in fact, if the weight is less or similar to the Soloist, I would say flipping out, I want one. Uh, if it's a bit heavier, obviously the whole point is the weight. And this is on about longer hiking up the Pennine Way, that type of thing but it's been luxury to have it, to, to use it. You know, so much space, wonderful. Anyway, rattling on again. Thank you for watching um, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Stay safe, cheers.